giving me way too much vegan power. Somebody stop me, please! Hi everyone, this is Patrick Baboumian. I'm back with a new video. This one is a little thank you to my first 20,000 subscribers. Um, and I was thinking a lot uh, lately uh, what kind of, you know, what kind of thing I could do to properly thank uh, for, you know, for, for, for the continued support. And um, this is what I come up with. So th this video is something that I've been asked for a lot for quite a long time now on all kinds of social media. Uh, but I always refrain from doing it just because I think um, there are a lot of um, ways to get something like this wrong because this is just one day out of many and my diet is not something that is very static. So my diet is changing over time and I'm always updating it um, in order to fit my, uh, my goals that I have uh, at, at a given moment and um, the way my body reacts to things that I do. So. Um, so it's like constantly morphing and changing uh, and developing. Uh, and therefore, uh, to show you one day out of context is kind of gives you this false sense of like, this is exactly how he eats all the time. Uh, and in reality, I'm experimenting with a lot of different things um, to just make sure that I find the optimal way to, to feed my body for training and for performance. So um, yeah, I think that's, uh, that's all I had to say. So let's just dive right into it and uh, see what I eat in a day. Good morning. Uh, it's it's seven o'clock in the morning. What is it called? What you eat in a day video? Let's go. Okay, so first things first. Uh, first, I have to feed the cat before I can feed myself. So here we go. Then I start the day off by taking my supplements. Um, I'm dividing the supplements into three um, different portions. Um, one for the morning, one for the midday, and then one for the evening. Um, in the mornings, I have B12, iron, and nutritional yeast. Then in the midday, I have, uh, again, nutritional yeast, calcium, and uh, multivitamin and then in the evening i have nutritional yeast again magnesium zinc and glucosamine uh, i'm going to probably make another video at some point where i explain which kind of supplements i take and why i take them i think this would kind of explode this video so um, i'm just keep on mentioning what i take and then uh, I take a few more supplements that I put into my shakes and smoothies. So the first shake that I have in the morning is a protein shake. I mix it with water. I have 80 grams of protein in it. I have at about uh, 5 grams of creatine in it. And just a few grams of beta alanine. Okay, now it's uh, time for training, which I do in a very small shed in my, as you know, very, very big backyard. Okay, so uh, I'm going to do an upper body session now. I'm going to either only train shoulders or if I feel well, I might train shoulders and uh, chest too. We'll see. I'm just warming up those rotators a little bit before I start working with the weight. Since I tore my tricep uh, three years ago, I always make sure I stretch tricep as much as I can to make sure that it 
you know, doesn't get too stiff and uh, my tendonitis doesn't, doesn't get worse than it is. Because that's what, what led to the injury, so uh, this is what's left of it. Gotta wake up. Okay, it's time for some crucifix hold and uh, some uh, lateral raises. Uh, by the way, this is my backyard where I set all my fake world records and where I gain my fake titles and uh, uh, I train with fake weights. Canada from here. That's it. Let's go and eat. Uh, let's go and get breakfast. Okay, so let's wash these bad asses. So right after my training, I will have a smoothie with black currants from the backyard and frozen mixed fruits, protein powder. It's, uh, by the way, the protein is uh, soy isolate, uh, but I switch from time to time and try different things. I sometimes also use pea protein isolate uh, or a blend of different plant-based proteins. It's, um, always try to switch and um, mix it up a little bit. Then we have uh, glutamine. We have beta alanine. We have, again, five grams of uh, creatine. Dried greens. Turmeric. Real cinnamon for antioxidants and BCAAs, 5 to 10 grams, and then orange and mango juice, and some water.
So up to this point, my body has received 160 grams of protein and 100 grams of carbs and all of that in liquid form as I want to prevent any stress on my digestive system. So I'm fit for training before I hit it and then afterwards I want nutrients to be fast so I can switch to recovery quickly. Now let's have some real food. About two hours after the smoothie, I prepare my next meal, which is lunch. So this is the first uh, solid food for the day. It's mainly comprised of leftovers from my birthday party a few days ago. Um, so we have vegan sausages, falafel, low-fat oven fries, of course, a ton of peppers grilled peppers and other grilled veggies. So in terms of macros, this gives us 60 grams of protein, 250 grams of carbs and 90 grams of fats. After this meal, I will either go for a walk for an hour or I will have a nap. It depends on how I feel today. After the walk, I will wait for half an hour or so and then I have another protein shake with uh, 50 grams of protein and uh, around 5 grams of uh, omega-3 oil. After the shake, I work for two to three hours in the office, taking care of everything business, um, just um, answering mails and all kinds of stuff. Um, that I have to take care of, and then I'm going to be ready for my next meal. Soy milk cappuccino. Good. So these are the ingredients for my next meal. It's just basically veggies, tofu, and cooked potato. Okay, so this is meal number five. It has uh, 40 grams of protein, 100 grams of carbs, and about 15 grams of fat. That mainly comes from the curry paste um, that I put on the zucchini uh, to make the meal a little bit more fun. Uh, and that's uh, my last main meal. Um, I'm going to have uh, another snack later on in the night, uh, in the evening. Um, that's going to be uh, peanuts um, and I'm going to get another 50 grams of protein there, 20 grams of carbs, 90 grams of fats um, and then I finish the day with a protein shake just before I go to bed and that's another 50 grams of protein. Okay, so that was our day. Uh, we have uh, 410 grams of protein over the day. We have 470 grams of carbs. We have 200 grams of fats. Overall, we have uh, 5,320 uh, kilocalories. Um, and um, what, what I want to mention here is that this is not really a typical day. I ate a little bit more than I usually do. So usually I would land with my protein in an area of 300 to 350 grams and the overall calories would also be like a thousand calories lower so something around 4,000 calories when I want to you know just maintain weight and a little bit more than 4,000 uh, when I want to gain some weight but at this point I'm trying to you know I'm, I'm uh, trying to gain some weight and days where I just eat a little bit more and this happened to be one of those days so that's the reason 
why uh, the protein amount was pretty crazy. Um, I actually only realized it after counting uh, the protein uh, in the evening. So, uh, and then also the overall calories was a little bit more than, than it usually is. Even if I want to uh, gain weight, I'm not always going that crazy uh, because as I said, 4,000 calories is usually enough for me to just maintain and then everything above that uh, is going to lead to um, weight gain. Um, so that's that. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then please, uh, you know, subscribe and, and hit the like button and do uh, all kinds of nice things. Uh, give me nice comments. Uh, if uh, you didn't like it, just shut up and get lost. Um, <laughs> no, if you didn't like it, uh, your, your feedback is also appreciated. Um, you know, I'm trying to learn from everything. Um, and uh, sometimes you can learn more from people who dislike you or who dislike what you do than from people who like it. So if you think the video was shit, please give me, still give me feedback. Um, that's it for now. Uh, so uh, yeah, thanks a lot again for all the support. Um, it, is, uh, it is great fun to be here and uh, get your feedback. And uh, uh, if you have ideas what I could do for the next uh, milestone of uh, 30,000 subscribers, uh, please also put that into the comments. Uh, and I'll see what I can do. 